Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm so, so excited to share this bathroom makeover with you guys. I've been working on it for like the past two weeks and for it being such a small room, it actually took so long to do because the painting and everything just took, you know, a few days for it to dry and then buying all the decor. But I decided I was going to film the whole process of redecorating this bathroom. It's the downstairs bathroom in my house and my mom was nice enough to let me be completely in control of redecorating this room and I was so excited. And like I said, I wanted to document it for you guys. So if you were interested in seeing the before and after of this beautiful bathroom and how I've decorated it, just keep on watching. Okay, so this is the before clip of the bathroom. Bear in mind, there was probably nothing really wrong with the bathroom, how it was, but I just wanted to decorate it a bit more and completely change it up. So here's the before clip. Um, as you can see, it's very bland, quite simple and plain, very neutral colors. It was more so just things that we had floating around the house that my mom decided to throw on the shelf. And I felt I just wanted to bring a bit more life to the room and add some color. I then went ahead and decided I would just completely empty out the room, take it all out and see kind of my, my blank canvas, how exactly I wanted everything to go, what colors I wanted where, and what type of furniture I wanted to add into the room. Okay, so myself and my dad went shopping for some wallpaper and paint. My original plan was to have the wall where the toilet is um, as a shiplap wall, which is actually like wooden slates or slats, however you want to say it, I don't know, um, that lets you go on the wall. But I thought to make it a bit easier, we would get a wooden effect wallpaper. And then for the other walls, I actually wanted to paint them kind of a deep navy blue. I absolutely love navy. I think it's very rich and warm and I thought it'd be perfect for this bathroom because I also wanted to paint the brown press that was on the wall. I wanted to paint that white and the shelving unit, I also wanted to swap that out for a brand new one from Ikea, which is also white. Um, so yeah, kind of going for that nautical theme, I thought the navy would fit in perfect and then the wooden wall would just kind of finish it off, be a nice detail. So I went ahead and bought these two. Unfortunately, when we got home and I decided to put everything into the bathroom, test out the paint, and see what the wallpaper was like. I actually ended up not liking the wallpaper. We sent that back and we stuck to just leaving that wall white. It was quite distracting and the room is quite small so the wallpaper would have kind of brought it in even more than it is. And um, so just left that wall white in the end. I'm really happy we did because it turned out looking really well. Okay, so like any type of painting process, I completely forgot that you need to paint the skirting boards, you need to paint the doors, you need to paint the roof. So this is why the process took a lot longer than I would have liked. I thought I would just have to paint all the walls, get it done in like two days. But no, all the skirting boards had to be painted and thank God we did paint them because they were yellow. So we had to start off by just putting some mask and tape on the floor and the edge of the walls to start the first coat and then we went back over with a gloss coat afterwards. We also painted the wooden press, like I said. This was actually an old press from our kitchen before we got our kitchen redecorated and we just decided to reuse this and put it into our new bathroom. Um, I hate the wood, I hate that orange coloured wood, so I decided this is gonna be white. Gave that one coat and then went back over it again with the gloss as well. Um, like I said, painting the skirting boards and the presses took roughly about two days with the two layers and having them dry. But then I jumped straight on in to painting the navy blue. The colour that we used was called, I think, Gatsby Blue by Dulux. If I can, I will leave it linked in the description box below. They also have an amazing app, actually. If you download the app and you take a picture of any wall in your bedroom, you can throw any colour onto it and it shows you exactly how it will look, which is so fun. Even if you're not decorating your room, it's just really cool to see what other colours would look like. Um, but that is the brand that we went for for the paint. Unfortunately, I did not fill on myself doing the first coat of paint. I got too distracted and too into trying to get the room finished, but I did end up filming some of the second layer of painting. It took about two to three layers actually in some parts, and then painting the edges took a while as well. Um, but I absolutely love the color. It is so rich and so warm and Oh, I just love it. I'm so, so happy with the navy. Okay, so this is now when the room is fully painted, all the white is done, the navy is done, and um, this is before any of the decor. Obviously, we're not just gonna leave the bathroom looking like this, so these are just the before clips, and now I'm going to show you the beautiful after clips, and I'm so, so happy with how it looks. And this is the finished look, guys. I am in love. I personally think it's a big change, but it's because the room before was quite boring, quite simple, um, a lot more kind of a nautical feel to it now. I absolutely love it. I would like to add some more pieces in, but for what I bought, I think it looks really well. Um, 
maybe going to change up the bin. I would like to add a few more pieces to the wall where the toilet is. Make it a little bit more boho because as you all know, boho, boho is my favourite style. Um, but I absolutely love how it looks. guys i really hope you've enjoyed i had so much fun redecorating this bathroom i know it probably sounds weird like i loved decorating bathroom but as you know i love interior design so filming this video is actually so so fun let me know in the comments below what you think of the before and after if you even like the after if you think i could change up some things let me know in the comments below if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button i would love to have you as part of my youtube family and stay tuned guys for more interior design videos to come more fashion videos to come also, I started up a new interior design Instagram page where I will be posting pictures of the bathroom. I will leave it linked in the description box below. Make sure to go give me a follow there because I love interior design. It's my new favorite thing. So if you're into it as well, hopefully you'll enjoy my Instagram. Um, but yeah, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Like always, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys. I feel like I've moved my shoulders so much in this video. Oh, my blue shirt is matching the blue bathroom as well. That wasn't planned at all.